San Diego. It is dark o'clock. I'm in the garage. Because <laughs> uh, actually it's dark o'clock and it's super foggy outside. It is Saturday, September the 30th. The final day of September. And it's been quite a month for my fellow goers as the Elliptigo Club has had a team event that people have been rabid on. And that's the genesis of today's ride. So today is the officially sanctioned group ride, which I had planned to go on. And I thought I'd uh, challenge myself and do another century today and a century plus. I was thinking maybe I could do like an Audix 200 kilometer ride, which would be 125 miles. Uh, so I presented that to a few of my riders and they went, mm, yeah, I don't think so. Except Frank stepped up to the plate and said, I'll do 100 and we'll do some elevation. Um, yeah, I, I can't do 100 and elevation. So we chose the elevation part. So Frank is going to drag me along uh, for some torture today. We're looking at a metric century today with 3,500 feet of climbing. My previous high is 2,700 feet when I did double peak. And uh, yeah, that is a lot of climbing for this, for this guy here. So um, I am sort of looking forward to it, but not, uh, not really. Uh, it will definitely give me the challenge that I was looking for today. It will make Frank happy. And, uh, yeah, we're going to start out probably in some fog um, that we're having here, but it should clear up pretty quickly. We're going to be riding down in Chula Vista. We're going to be hitting all the hills in Chula Vista, going out to Sweetwater Reservoir, and then going down to the border, and then coming back to start. So... We will see how this plays out. Uh, prepare to sweat, prepare for some torture, prepare for some pain, prepare for some joy. Uh, I am just about ready to go mentally, physically, so let's go. Okay, so here we are. San Diego Country Club in Chula Vista, California. And it is nearly 7 a.m. and it is very light fog out here. And, it should burn off very quickly. The temperature is uh, probably mid 60s, little maybe a little bit higher, 67, something like that. So we are just about to set off on the Tour de Torture, Torture, Torture. Yeah, a lot of climbing going today. A little bit anxious for this. A uh, little bit of anxiety, not anxious. Anxious means, yeah, I'm excited to go. I'm sort of excited to go, but more more have a little bit of anxiety. We'll see how, uh, how we fare. Metric century and a lot of climbing to come. Off we go. So, seven and a half miles, seven and a quarter miles. Heart rate is nominal in that 140 range most. We're just now starting to get to the part where we're gonna be climbing. Everything is looking good so far. And the sun is trying to break through. Okay, eight and a half miles in. About 17% of our climbing done. You want to know? You want to know how you make the ride manageable? 17% in. That was the easiest 17% that I could have. But now the uh, climbing portion of the show will begin. So, sun's still not up, but uh, it is foggy-ish, moist, a little miserable in there. Glass is fogging up, but other than that, surviving. Just taking a quick break for my feet, not for anything else. Okay, so we're at the turning point now, and it has actually gotten foggier. But we're going uphill now. All good? <laughs> yeah, it's great so far. <laughs> All right. Kill me. Uh, let's see. That was the Mount Miguel climb. Ooh, yeah, we're at uh, 1166 feet. So that puts us at about almost one third of the climbing we have to do on the trip. So that's the good news. Sun is out, as you can see. So we're taking a quick food break. 
back at it. Your time to shine. Hey, <laughs> what a great day. Beautiful day out here with Rick. Thank you, Rick, for uh, being my partner on this crazy ass ride. <laughs> Had now a lot of fun. Now it's downhill. Now it's downhill, yeah. Till it's uphill again. Till it's uphill again. You are correct. Yeah, so I have a new acronym WWBPD. What would Bill Pinnell do? Of course he would go, because there's a tile to be had out here. So let's do it. Stop anywhere and refuel. Oh. This is this is good stuff right here. Yeah, After shape. a nice little climb, yeah. Little like that. Benches. Okay, so it's minor break time. 21, almost 21 and a half miles in, 1,700 feet of climbing. So we're halfway done climbing. We're a third of the way in mileage, two hours in. The phone network is now reconnected. We are... We're really taking our time. I don't know where we are in here. Yeah, what is our average? Our average speed is 10.1. Um, but, you know, we've done seven. 1,700 feet of climbing. I've only done five, six rides more than 1,700 feet. So, uh, yeah, so things are good. The sun is now out. The weather is not hot uh, yet, so looking good. And now we're going to be making a run for the border. So, all good so far. Look, it's the ex-Olympic Training Center. Never been here. Heard about it for decades. Never knew where it was. It's right here. All right, where are we at? We're 26 and a half, 26 miles. 26 miles, so we're getting uh, almost to the halfway point. 2,000 feet of climbing. So we haven't done a lot of climbing in the last uh, few miles, although it feels like it. Uh, and we're at the store. Frank's getting a drink. I'm gonna swap out my head set, dripping, and get a drink myself and eat and stuff. So, until later. So, we are at the mattress firm, which used to be the sleep train, which used to be the Coors Light amphitheater. And we're starting to come up the hill, and I just needed a break because I wanted to take a picture of this. But now that I look at it, we're going straight up this hill. So this is the next hill that we have to climb and it's gonna go for at least a mile, it looks like. So it's a good thing I took a break, got some drink. And we're now seriously on our way to the border. So we're getting, we're getting reasonably close now, so. All right, we just finished, I don't know, it's probably a mile and a half. It was at least a mile climb of five to eight percent. We get to the top, and the ice cream man is sitting up here, taunting us. I may have to get an ice cream. <laughs> Look, honey, it's goats in the wild. Is that a sheep? Ah, ah. I don't know what a goat. Goats and sheep sound kind of the same to me. I'm a city boy. What the hell do I know? Ah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, WWBPD. What would Bill Pinnell do? Of course he would go for it because there's a tile to be had. And the alternative is to walk, ride like 10 miles out of our way. So, here we go. Awesome!
Here we go, four miles to the border. All downhill, let's hope so. The border is in sight. I can see the Mexican flag flying up there in the sky. I think we're about a mile away. So, woohoo. Okay, so we don't want to go there. We don't want to go there, right? Not today. Not today. Nope. I don't have a passport, so we're here. There's Mexico. Woohoo! So, on the other side of this fence, that would be Mexico. So, we are at the border, literally. Should we jump the wall? No, I don't think so, because I'd never get back. So, we shall bid adieu to the border and say hello to Chula Vista. We are on the final, uh, final go. We've got uh, less than 20 miles to go. Still have 700 feet of climbing somewhere, but I don't know where that exactly is. But uh, we shall find out. So we're on Dairy Mart Road, or finishing it. Really cool. It's just this country road here on the border. Horses. Here come, the, here come more horses over here. A trip where I can make a goat sound and a horse sound. Special. Okay, so half century in the books. We're at 56 and a half miles. I am now a member of the 3,000 foot climbing club at 3,030 feet. We got another little hill in front of us. We got about four or five miles to finish or something like that. Oh, there's the game stop right there. That must be Saturn Boulevard then, or something. Um, yeah, so, uh, getting a little tired, I suppose, but uh, hey, we're almost finished, so it's all good. Oh, and it's about 80 some degrees. It's breezy, so we've had to go into a headwind when we're going that way. Now we're going with the tailwind, so it's much better, but by and large, the breeze is a nice, cool breeze, so. That's a good thing, so. All right. Well, that's it. We're back. A metric century, 62 miles, exactly. 3,350 feet of climbing, right, right about where we were supposed to be, maybe, maybe 100 feet low. And uh, a riding time of five hours and 39 minutes. Elapsed time, well, I don't know, it's, three o'clock we left at seven so uh, that was eight hours it's a long time but uh, yeah I'm still alive to talk about it so and, and I actually finished quite strong so I'm uh, I'm really surprised at that so yeah thank you to Frank for making me do this just a, another little notch in the belt I get my 3,000 foot velo viewer badge and uh, I get bragging rights to myself. So, uh, yeah, any words there, bud? I want to thank Rick for being my partner today and for putting up with all my questions, right turn, left turn, how far? Oops. About 30 times, 40 times, maybe 100, I don't know, long time. Splitting a great turkey sandwich with me. Give me yeah, a nice cold really Diet Coke. Yeah, it was a wonderful day. Well spent. It's good, good. Yeah, great day. Thank you, Rick Kligman. In San Diego. In the flesh, in the flesh. All right, so I have very little left, I suppose. Actually, I don't, but I do. So that was good. Another 40. That was good enough. Another 40, yeah. <laughs> Remember, the original thing was, yeah, let's do 100 and do 5,000 feet. Yeah, that ain't happening. Not hurt. today. My, my not, feet hurt. Not hopefully in my lifetime. I don't know. So, uh, yeah. Oh, so yeah, this was uh, five. Uh, actually, it was about 600 feet over my previous best. So, I guess I stayed by my rule of increasing by 300. I just did it 300 times two. So, uh, yeah, that was all good. And that was, and, and 
finally, this was a lot easier than the first metric I did. And I think that the key to it was that I ate. Whereas the first one, I was stingy with like a cliff, one cliff bar for the thing. And yeah, I ate every hour, hour and a half, something like that, the cliff bar and, and the lunch. And so, yeah, that was absolutely important. So remember that for next time. So until next time.